Hi everyone, today on Steve's Garage, I'm going to show you how to check the fuses on your multimeter without even opening it up. Then I'll cover the procedure of opening up the multimeter, double checking that the fuses are blown, and replacing them if they are. While trying to measure the amp draw on a car battery, I was getting a value of zero. There should always be some amount of draw, so I knew something was wrong. Being that this is a new multimeter and showed no other signs of failure in the probes or the meter itself, I thought it best to start by checking the fuses. Grab your multimeter and make sure that the positive lead is plugged into the port to measure ohms. This port is only for amps on my multimeter, so it's pretty easy to select the correct one. Your multimeter may not look like this, so just be sure that you have the correct port to measure ohms or resistance. Select the lowest ohm setting you have, and as you can see, my multimeter is displaying OL for overload. This is correct when the leads aren't connected to anything. If you take the red lead and touch it to the amp port, you should have some type of resistance. If it's still displaying OL, you probably have a blown fuse. You can double check that it's a fuse and not some other part of the multimeter by touching the two leads together. There is a small amount of resistance, which is what we want. If the fuse wasn't blown, you'd also have a small amount of resistance when the lead is in the amp port. Now that we've done the simple check, we can open up the multimeter, double check that it's the fuses, and replace them if necessary. Unless you're working with the same Klein MM300 multimeter, yours may look and come apart a little differently. In my case, you take out all the screws and separate the two halves. My multimeter has one large and one small fuse. Again, this may look different in yours. For the sake of this video, I'm pulling and checking both. You don't need the fuses installed to check resistance, so there's no need for a second multimeter. Just power yours back on and check the resistance of the fuses. Mine still displays OL, which confirms they're both blown. If I grab a new fuse, you can see that there is a small resistance reading when touching the probe to each end. Make sure to discard those old blown fuses. You don't want to mix them up with the new ones. Grab your new fuses, put them in the multimeter, and reassemble the whole thing. Once it's together, you can do the lead to port test, and you can see that we now have resistance, which is what we want. The fuses are replaced, and the multimeter is now working correctly. If we go back to the car, we can double check that amp reading I was trying to get in the first place and see that we're now getting a value. If you're interested in testing the health of your car battery or for a parasitic draw condition, I have a video for each that you can watch here. Feel free to leave any questions or comments you have below. I try to help everybody out. And if you found this video helpful, think about subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.